standard tuning and I have a B bender guitar which means that it has a mechanism inside of it that bends the B string up a full step when you pull down the strap. If you don't have one of those, no worries. I'll show you a couple of workarounds that we'll use for the B bender parts in the song to make it easy for you to play on a standard guitar. So let's get right into it and we'll start with the verse. So after the a cappella intro, um, it basically starts into an E chord, which I play without the minor th or the major third in there. Just like that. And I'm just adding my ring finger on the third string fourth fret and the pinky on the second string fifth fret. To the B. And then throughout this whole song, you use a pedal technique, which you've probably heard is a very classic country sound. half of the first verse, so after the a cappella. I'm just doing a simple walk down from the fifth string to the sixth string, so five, fifth string on second fret, open, sixth string on fourth fret. Sixth string on second fret. Back into my verse again. I'm also using a type of picking called hybrid picking. So I'm using my middle finger and my ring finger as well as a pick. So you get kind of that. 
classic country slapback sound. Um, but anyway, carrying on with the verse. <laughs> Basically, we're going to play that by sliding our ring finger from the 5th fret up to the 7th fret. And we have on our middle finger just below that, on the 4th string, 4th fret, sliding into the 6th fret. So slide, step back 2 frets, step back 1 fret, and now I'm changing my middle finger from being on the 4th fret to being on the 2nd fret, 4th string, and that ring finger has also come back a fret. Uh, for the 5th string, that will be on the 4th fret. index finger on the 5th string 3rd fret, my middle finger right below that on the 4th string 4th fret, adding my ring finger below that on the 3rd string 5th fret. And then I'm going into a C sharp minor. To an a minor. And then there's a rhythmic part when they do some singing. about in there besides keeping the rhythm part tight and I'll play that slowly for you so and I'm sliding into an A uh, basically by sliding my middle finger on the fourth string from the third fret all the way up to the eleventh fret and then I'm landing on my A with my index finger on the 10th fret. And there's our walk up. starts out on the 7th fret, 5th string, and we're sliding up to the 11th fret, and there's ghost notes in there too. So slide, walk up to the 3rd and 2nd string that you're playing on the 9th fret, ghost note, 7th, ghost note, and that would be six and five on the third and second string so
bender lick comes in. We're playing that A minor as we said before, and we're basically going to be bending, in this case, the B string up a full step from the fifth fret to the seventh fret. So if you don't have that B bender guitar, here's a little trick for you. You can use your pinky down on the second string. But if you have the B bender, by all means use it. And then there's that rhythmic part after that. That's our pickup going into our solo. So we're starting by sliding our third string from the second fret to the fourth fret and plucking the second and first strings open. time slow or a little pick up before the solo. Here comes the second B bender lick. So we're coming up here to our A7 shape on the 8th fret and 9th fret. That's a little triad there. So the middle finger is on the 9th fret 3rd string, the ring finger is below that on the 9th fret 1st string, and then our index finger is tucking right behind that on the 8th fret 2nd string. And again, if you don't have that B bender guitar, you can use your pinky. So after that part, we're doing a little half bend on the 8th fret and the 7th fret. So the 8th fret, we're playing the 2nd string, and the 7th fret, we're playing the 1st string. string, fourth fret, you're bending it basically to the fifth fret. So we're doing some ghost notes into the next part. string up a full step and we're playing the first string on the seventh fret with our pinky so the 
tricky part is going to be keeping that third string bent up while you're switching your pinky out for your index finger on the fourth fret. <laughs> last part of the solo there is removing the index finger on the third string from the fourth fret to the fifth fret and then adding the ring finger right below that on the seventh fret and then we're back into our C minor C sharp minor sorry. have that B bender part again and then there's the rhythmic part There's a little bit of a turnaround there, and that's going to be a walk up. So again, that same lick that we played before, it's exactly the same. And then outro, it starts on the A. So there's a ritardando in the end of the song, and there's that walk up on the sixth string, so six. You're sliding from two to four. Five open, five one, B. And then I'm moving my picking hand right down to the edge of the bridge to get a really twangy, kind of thin sound. Ending on the E7. There you have it, that's a tutorial for Midland's song, Make a Little. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe, like, and comment. Please let me know what improvements or songs you'd like to hear next. And specifically, if you want me to break parts down further, I don't mind doing that. Send me a personal message or an email, and see you in the next video. Thanks very much.